The All-Ireland and Leinster champions look strong in every line, from goalkeeper Stephen Cluxton to top of the left, Dean Rock. James McCarthy moves from his usual five to the number nine jersey. Up front, be interesting to see how cool is Conor Callaghan performs at full forward. Centre forward Dara Foley captains a Carlo side and be full of passion and determination. But the real concern for Carlo is how the back six, led by Shane Redmond and Daniel St. Ledger, will cope with the Dublin forwards. This is on Moor Park, Port Leisha. Carlo playing from left to right. It really is, to use that cliche, David versus Goliath here. Recycling it. Could this be the opening score? It's hot. And it's over the bar. What about that? Wonderful kick by Brendan Murphy. Mind me known nationwide, but around Carlo and around Leinster, he is one of the best. And Carlo people are rejoicing. Big ball inside to McCaffrey. Looks around as nobody readily available under severe pressure. That is a brilliant point. Great work by Dublin. This is the breaking ball as McCaffrey latched onto it. Good work here by the defender. The kickouts are not working for Carlo, I'm afraid. Craig Carney, I would suggest, should be going short a lot more often. Even Dublin almost get their passes astray, but they still survive the challenge. And through sheer hard work, scramble that between the posts. Good work again by Jack McCaffrey. Left or right, whatever way you like it, Jack is able to supply it for his team. Here come Dublin now. Good work by Eric Lowndes. Kieran Kilkenny. Simplicity in motion. Get into a good position and have a go. And the Castle Knock man took his chance. Harlow come away with it. Something I would suggest they should have been doing a lot more of. Hassan said it's not a great one for John Murphy. And the Carlo corner forward is fouled. Seemed to be a soft free now, I have to tell you. 50-50 ball. It was just a touch barely. There was a little trip more accidental, and I think that's the reason why the free was given. Here comes Dara Foley's kick. And that is over the bar. Good score by the Carlo captain. And not a bad scoreline at halftime. Dublin eight points, Carlo five. Just three points between the teams. But history would suggest that Dublin should come good in this second half. They haven't lost a match in Leinster. It's going down to me than the 2010 semi-final, seven years ago. Good opportunity here for a point, and a good defending Carlo. Danger still imminent. There's a chance here of a goal, and it's off the post. Kevin McMenamin was going for it, big time. Woodwork depriving corner forward from St. Jude's and Ballantyre of a cracking goal. But now, there's more trouble here. It's a second yellow, followed by a red. So one of Carlo's best footballers is gone from this Leinster Championship match. For a second yellow offence, Carlo are down to 14 players. Let's see what happened here. There's a pullback here on Johnny Cooper. Totally unnecessary, very silly. And to be perfectly honest, he is a huge loss, but he should have known better. And away come Dublin in that crucial centre field area. Dear McConnelly laying it off. On inside for the return pass. It's Kieran Kilkenny once more. Shoots and scores. Second point of the afternoon and evening for the Castle Lock man. Mark Schutte. Bernard Brogan, simple, but so effective. Scored the first with the right, scored the second with the left. Can't ask more from a corner forward, can you? Stylish and classic. 
it's game over for Carlo. The Dublin fans who travel down the motorway will be reasonably pleased without being overawed. Full-time score in Park Port Leisha. It's Dublin 19 points.